Hello everybody and welcome to my March 2019 Plan With Me video. I hope all of you had a great February and let's start this video by quickly flipping through my February pages. I must say that after this kind of darker, misty theme, I wanted to do something completely different for this month. So let's just start setting up our March layouts from the next empty page. I'm starting from the cover page as usual, and actually this month I decided to only use this one page for my cover page drawing. At least for now, I might add something to the previous page later. In a way, as I said, I wanted something completely different from the forest theme, so my theme word for this month was fresh. I wanted super clean, simple, fresh looking pages, and I chose to draw this kind of juicy looking lemon to this cover page. I'm using the same water brush pen technique I also used in my previous video. I think it takes the possibilities to use your regular brush pens to hold another level, and I really enjoy the softer, more dimensional look you're able to get just from using one or two colors. Anyway, I'm using mainly yellow and green in this lemon and also I'm darkening some areas with orange as well. And I wanted to have this hue of yellowish splash around the lemon just to make it look a little bit more artsy and fresh. After the drawing is done, I'm just writing March on this bigger font underneath the lemon. And I'm also drawing this small calendar here. I just like how it looks on the cover page. So after this is done, we can flip our way to the next page, which will be kind of a monthly overview. I'm starting by drawing another small calendar here, and I'm making this square border around it, just to give like a simple minimalist style decoration to this page. I really wanted to go for a bit more minimal look this month, even more so than I usually do. I kind of wanted to take a break from bigger drawings this month and do something quicker and more simple. I think it also goes hand in hand with this whole fresh, airy theme. And I also wanted to focus on some new tracker ideas on March that are coming later in this video. So I hope those of you who like more simple decorations can find some new ideas from this video as well. Anyway, you can see me adding this small lemon leaf detail under the calendar. I know these probably aren't actual lemon leaves. My inspiration for the leaf design this month were eucalyptus leaves, but I don't know if these look anything like those either. Probably not. <laughs> Under the calendar, you can add some kind of important date section. It could be work or school related. Personally, I wanted to find a place for my YouTube and Instagram posting days. So I have that here and then other stuff. The following page will be for my monthly focus. If you see my videos, you probably know that I like to set some kind of focus areas each month so I can really focus on certain things. Last month I started to pick up my Instagram game and I'm planning on having lots of extra bullet journaling stuff there this month and in the future as well. So if you don't follow me there, I will leave my account somewhere here so you can find it if you're interested. So creating stuff for my journal away channel and page as well as writing and powering through school in the process will be my main focus areas on March. I would actually love to know if you do something like this in your journals as well and what are your focus areas for March? It would be really interesting to know what you use your bullet journals for and I think it could also give inspiration for others as well. You know, especially for those of us who are still new to this whole bullet journaling thing. Anyway, this page ended up looking somehow a bit weird. <laughs> I didn't really like the colors together, but after starting to fill this in, I think it looked better. So let's just move on and flip to the next page. And as a matter of fact, this must be my favorite spread of my whole March setup. So this whole page will be dedicated to self-care. And I'm usually not the type of person to have self-care or mood-related stuff on my journal. But recently I realized how big impact self-care has on your productivity. So I did this big kind of happy tracker type of chart for all the self-care habits I would ideally like to do every single day on March. 
I'm already doing most of these things and I've really noticed that they have an effect on my mood and my motivation levels. Some of these are physical health related and some are more for mental health and, you know, the well-being of your mind. <laughs> And then to make all of this even more interesting, I will have this mood tracker underneath the habits. So I can really see if doing many of these things in a day affected on my mood or not. I always love to do these experiments and really figure out some patterns and effective habits this way. And I wanted to keep this page super clean and fresh looking again. And I'm just doing this one eucalyptus leaf decoration to the bottom corner. I'm again using the same water technique and I'm using very little water on my brush. You don't really need much water at all because the brush pens themselves are already water based. So you just want a little bit of extra water to your brush to blend the colors easier and also to make the color a little bit lighter so you have more control if you want to make something darker later. But yeah, I might share some of these self-care habits more in depth on my Instagram as well. These are pretty much all things I've learned from much smarter people than myself. And they are all things that I truly think are making my life more healthy one way or another. I think taking care of yourself is really important. No matter how busy or tired you are, you should always put yourself first. But I think we can leave it at that. So now let's move on to the next page. So if the previous page was for self-care habits, this will be for the productivity stuff. And I want to try this new tracking method I did once in the past. So I chose four of my most important habits I want to track. And then I'm drawing these small graphs for each of those habits. The idea here is to track how many hours you're using for that certain habit in a week. So every time I'm doing that certain habit, I will make the bar higher. And then I can see how many hours I spent doing that during one week in total. So this is a little bit different, but I wanted to make a change to my habit tracking in general. So I hope this will be interesting to use. Then the next page will be for my random ideas. I just love to have a page where I can dump everything from my brain that doesn't fit anywhere else. So that's why I usually set up this kind of page. And you know, since there's a lot of space here, I decided to write this very fitting quote in the corner I found for this month, which says, fresh mind keeps the body fresh. That basically sums up my whole monthly theme for March. So I just had to write it down. I'm kind of connecting this page to my cover page lemon drawing by coloring this lemon and splash of yellow and green around this quote. So that's it for this more functional page. And then let's move on to the first weekly page of March. I usually like to keep my weekly pages pretty similar and simple. And that's the case for this month as well. These are truly functionally the first type of pages for me. And I use these daily. So I want to have lots of room to write down my events and daily to do lists. So I don't forget to do anything important. I went back to vertical layout this month and I prefer this little bit to a horizontal one. So yeah, I don't have much to say about this page. It's pretty self-explanatory. But then lastly, I will still set up my March review page where I can have a quick recap of the month. First, I have this page for the highlights of March. So I hope this page will be filled with all the best moments and memories I'll have. And I used this kind of similar border style that I had in my monthly overview page.
Then on the last page, I usually like to write down few questions that will help me focus on the things I learned or tried. I've also realized that having this type of page in general makes you more motivated to actually learn and do something new in a month because you know, you've set up this page and if you don't do anything new, you kind of have to write it down as well. But that finishes up my March 2019 setup. I know this was a little bit more simple, so I'm sorry if you were looking for something more interesting. I was just in a mood for more simple layout this month, but as I said, I will have some extra tutorials and close-ups coming on my Instagram during this whole month. And if you're new here and you'd like to see more from me, please consider subscribing to this channel and turning on the notifications. But that's that. I hope all of you have a wonderful day or night wherever you are and see you in my next one. Bye bye.